Hello, welcome. I Thank you very much. I practice your name really hard. Oh, nice. Mu. Yeah, pretty close. Pretty it's, close? Yeah. So the Danish is Mu, but no one can say it, like, outside of Denmark, so don't worry. Like, I I mean, you know, I chose a crazy name, so Mo is great. Mu, as you said it, very good also. Uh, can, I, can I try this <laughs> one more time? Just one more time. <laughs> yeah, sure. Mu. 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 Yeah, yeah, I getting got closer. It. Yeah, yeah, I got it. All right, awesome. Well, yeah. First off, welcome to San Diego. Thank you so much. This is your first time here, correct? First time, yeah. So right. I'm super stoked. You are in for a treat, my dear. The Ooh. first thing you got to do is, before your show or after your show, mm. you need to have Mexican food here. It will be like no other city. We're working on it. We're trying to arrange it, so it's gonna happen. All right. You know, you need to prepare like carne <laughs> asada fries. Man, they're they're magical. As you can tell, I, I eat a good amount of them. But that's great. You know, yeah. No. No. I would, <laughs> no. You can't. <laughs> But you know, thank you, thank you. But yeah, you know, def- definitely have some and welcome and you'll never forget about San Diego. My question to you I is... I think so. First, I, I think I won't. What can people expect from a Mu show? Uh, so, I mean, you know, always when I play, I kind of like this, what do you say, zone out. So I like, I'll just let go and just... Ugh. So, but what I hear people say is that they think I'm very um, energetic and very, I guess, punk when I play. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah, so I I guess if that's true, then that's what people can expect. <laughs> <laughs> then you're step back. That's a very exciting show then. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I love playing live shows. I, I love it. I used to be in a punk band for mm-hmm. five years and yeah, I, 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 th- I find it so liberating to, to perform. Now, was your punk band, was it called More or Moore? It was More, yeah. Moore. You're saying it correct, yeah. yes. I got, I got yeah, it. Yeah, you're awesome, yeah. I got it. And then, so, because, uh, you know, San Diego also had a very rich punk scene as well. Yeah, and I yeah, know Den- I, I kind of know that, yeah. Denmark, Denmark definitely, uh, uh, and everything. The crazy thing is to, to see for, especially doing like the background on you, is how... People assume that a certain type of music comes from Scandinavia, it's that house music, but you have so many different scenes yeah, and you've there, kind there's... of mixed up all of them. So like, I know this is the most generic artist question we always ask, but I, I love asking it anyways. <laughs> what do you describe your sound? Yeah, it, it's I, actually, I find it really hard to describe sometimes. I mean, obviously like, you know, it's pop music, but 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 I, I, I always like to try, like I don't want to make pop music just to make popular music. You should make your music, make your art because you want to try to push the borders. Like that's what creativity is about, if you ask me, is to try to make a difference. Like, mm-hmm. And so so I like to say that my music is pop, but with, you know, with, with, with some kind of edge to it. I like that. Yeah. I like that. And you've been doing this for a while. It's not like you just popped out of nowhere, especially mm. like, you know, with your band. For artists that are up on the come up and trying to get where you're at like can you tell me how hard do you have to work to get to this level of now you've achieved yeah well i mean yeah i you gotta work really hard of, of course like and it's something that takes many many years for some people i mean some people it happens overnight but mm-hmm. for me it's definitely been a long journey and like been working very hard but it's been fun i love working hard also because it's something you love and if it's something you love and really want to do and something you're super passionate about it's all worth it you just want to do it all the time That's what's and up. and i mean and and i think one of the most important lessons that i've learned is just that it pays off to be yourself as well because a lot of people think like oh it has to sound like this or you got to do like this or you got to look like this and you got to wear this you know but that's it's not true like it's simply just not true you got to be yourself like how and, do you deal you know, with that especially you know you know with breaking off and doing your own thing like how do you I, when I look at you, I'm like, she's doing her own thing and it's working out for her, but I'm pretty sure some people say, hey, maybe you shouldn't do this. How do you, yeah, how sure, do you yeah. veer that off and just stay in your own lane? I think, I mean, I'm, I'm very much like, I always want to try to find good compromises. And so I've been down that road for sure. We're like, oh, you say this, okay, let's try that. But you know what? It never works out when you do that. So you got to just stick to it. And that's something you learn through the experience, I guess, that no, I'm just going to do this. Yeah. I like that. I like yeah. that. Now, how does it feel to see just the success take off and just <laughs> move, become that brand. Does it feel good? Yeah, I mean, I, I again, I definitely feel like I'm on a journey and it's so exciting to be on this journey. I'm just so super happy about that I'm in this position. It's it's my dream coming through, true. So. There, there you go, no, no, it's okay. Don't, yeah. don't, don't, don't worry, your English is, is fantastic. <laughs> my struggle with my, I struggle with my English from time to time. I'm not 100%, so your next That's single, what, what is it called? What, where can people find it? I want to know all about it. <laughs> so the, the song that I have out right now is uh, called Don't Leave with the Snake Hips. Um, and I saw yeah. a picture with them there. You know, you guys, you guys do the whole, you guys look like a great band. I'm not oh, gonna lie. Just, oh yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, they're nice. They're from UK. They're super cool. 
Um, and yeah, but it's it's out on all the what do you say all the. All the songs Spotify, out iTunes, all that stuff. Like, yeah. So. And Denmark, do they, do they, Denmark, do they go hard on Spotify too or no? Uh, yeah, it's a really big thing in Denmark. Also because you know, uh, I think Spotify isn't originally from Sweden, so you know, it's Scandinavia and like. Ah, there so you it's, go. Yeah, it's, it's very, very popular with Spotify in Denmark. Now, out of curiosity, I'm telling you because that's like I'm, I plan to travel. You know, to scan. What's the, oh, nice. what's the big difference between Sweden and Denmark? Aside from you know, I guess mm. I know the language is very similar, but yeah, it's pretty the similar. Pe- people wise, are people in Denmark much more happier than in Sweden, or it's not <laughs> the same? No, I think I think to be honest, Norway, Sweden, Denmark, it's not that super different. I would say one of the things that I see as a difference is that in Sweden and Norway they have very very breathtaking nature, like they have mountains and like big forests and big lakes and stuff like that. And Denmark is a bit, we like Denmark is very flat. You know, mm-hmm. we don't have any hills or anything. <laughs> and the nature is your thing. I I noticed that. You know, you're about that. Nature I love life. nature. Yeah, yeah. Have you? What's your favorite? You know, if you could. Visit any you know nature site in the world and just be there for like a month. Where would it be? Mm, oh, it's hard. Like I'm, one of my favorite things is to go hiking up in Norway. But um, in America, you have so many uh, beautiful natural. What do you say? Natural parks. No, natural parks. National parks. Yeah, like Grand Canyon and like Miss. What is it called? The um, Yosemite. Yeah, and like uh, oh, Death Valley. No, what is it called? Oh my God! You got what is it, it called? The, yeah, Death Valley. Is it, it called yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So there are just so many beautiful places. So mm, it's hard. There you go. Okay. Aside <laughs> from the single, I, I like that you just, just power through that. You can interview so far. Uh, what's the next big thing we need to expect? We need to be on the lookout. Aside from the single, from Mo, maybe album, maybe whatever. Albums coming tour? up sometime this Later year. Yeah. Yeah. Tour. I mean, I'm I'm finishing off my American tour right now, and then I'm going to South America to do Lollapalooza. Wow. But I'll have a, I'll have a, a new song coming out pretty soon as well. Like. Can we get a little Costco sampler note still? I guess I can't say anything, unfortunately. Even though I hate to be that kind of person, it's but okay. yeah, it's okay. <laughs> you know no worries. It now you now I know you're a veteran in the festival game. What's the difference mm. between going on tour and performing at festivals? That's what, what I've always wanted to know. Yeah, I mean, I guess you can actually imagine. You know, like festivals is this. You know, people are on holiday and it's like they're in and out of concerts and they're drunk. And like ah, you know, like is this you know holiday freedom? Blah. So it it's. Yeah, so that's that vibe. But then on on the club shows when you're on tour, it's more, it's a bit more, it's intimate and it's it's a bit more chill, mm-hmm. I guess. Not the show, not my show is not more chill, but it's just, it's a more intense vibe, I guess, on the yes. club shows and the festivals is more just, ah, ah, you know. So that's the difference. I like that. Yeah, when I think of you, I certainly don't think chill. So you know, it's definitely. Yeah. I like the intense <laughs> is a very very good word. And then uh, I know you know it must not be easy just with the touring and all that. Whenever you get a moment of free time, what do you like to do? Ah, uh, like again, as I said, I really love working, and it's you know, but but if I was to re- relax again, I love like doing active holidays, like mm-hmm. going hiking or something like that, or if it's just I should say just a moment, <laughs> just then a moment. just watching you know some stupid reality show and just crash. <laughs> what's your What's your favorite reality show? Like is your guilty reality show pleasure? Yeah, it's uh, it's America's Next Top Model. America's Next Top Model. Yeah, yeah. that's not bad. That's... No, no, I mean I love it. <laughs> so, there you go. Now yeah. do you now now the, now what's his face? Which one uh, do you like it more for the design or like the models putting the grind in? Which one is what's your favorite? You know, I don't know what it is about it that I think actually it's almost like a comfort thing because it was something I watched a lot as a teenager. So it's just it makes me relax when I watch it. I'm like, oh, <laughs> I don't know. There you go. Hey, they, I just, I, I yeah, and I do love with... fashion. I yeah, I don't know. And, I like Tara Banks. and I've noticed you like awesome. Thrasher too, which is a very good brand. I know, even though this they is look, actually a ripoff, but it's yeah. okay. I, I was, we're not, <laughs> you get we're the not, point, though. <laughs> I get the point. That, that's that's the best part. Okay, this, then the next thing, if you could collab with one artist on your next album, who do you want? Who's your dream? Mm, I mean, there are a ton of uh, people that I would love to work with, but. Today I'm like super obsessed with Rihanna, so I'm gonna say Rihanna. There you go, so Rihanna. If you're listening, like you know, get on it. Come on, hurry, hurry up! Like you, we got the fire right now. Uh, and then okay, the last thing I want to do is I I have been practicing my Danish for you, and I really just, seriously wow. Yeah, like oh, that's kind of you. I just want to make sure that I'm saying stuff right. So okay. I have a bunch of things, and okay. you can respond back in Danish if you'd yeah. like. I won't understand it, but I will give it a try. <laughs> so we're gonna start with very uh, basic things. Okay. So here is. Hi, Minauna Pandar. Oh my god! You said it perfect! Minauna oh. <laughs> Khan. That's as far okay? That's great! 
That Matt, was awesome, though. You were really good. Th- yeah. Thank you. Thank you. That's a... How do you... Uh, it's I, a, I didn't get nice to meet you in the car, so yeah. how do you say that? Oh, what? what? How do you say nice to meet you? Uh, rare cool. <laughs> That was really... So the next Danish <laughs> artist that comes through. Yeah. <laughs> Bare minutter. Rare minutter. Bare minutter. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I'll fail. Alright, this one. The first good. one's really good. Really good. Where the sounds it is song Hilda. I'll repeat it one more time. Okay. Where the sounds the song Hilda. <laughs> What's your latest song called? We actually answered this question. Ah, but... Can you say it again? Oh, sure. It's Where the sounds the song Hilda. Hitler. Oh, that since the song Hilda. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Yes. Don't leave. Don't leave. <laughs> with How snake do you say hips. that in Danish? Den hedder don't leave med snake hips. Did I put this is good somewhere? Because I wanted to say that. Is it like German? Das is good or no? Das is good. I mean, no. Det godt. Yeah, it's it's pretty close. It's not. Ex- Can you speak in Deutsch or no? I speak ein bisschen Deutsch. Oh wow, das is good. Das is good. <laughs> Mind me a little bit. Ich habe van Essen. That's all I can say. <laughs> all right. We have that. Got that covered. Where did where the false Kinsis Spice Girls song? Where did where the false Truxin Spice Girls song? So something about Your the favorite first my favorite oh Spice Girls song. Oh my favorite Spice Girls song, yeah. Pretty good. Yeah, pretty oh, good. I'm sorry. Uh it's I think it's the one called Say You'll Be There. Yeah. I but I mean I love all their songs. Okay. I, I <laughs> low-key is like my it's my guilty pleasure, don't judge me. Which like, one? Spice Girls too. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. All right, I'll pretend like we didn't. I didn't say that. <laughs> that's okay. All right, same question because I was impressed when I found out you'd like this. Where, where the full skin, uh, where the full strict skins, uh, black flag sound. Black flag. Yeah. But what? Uh, my. What's, what's your favorite black flag song? Mm, um, that's a tough one. Yeah. I think. Oh, uh, what is the you know uh, the TV night the. The oh fuck, fuck! What is the name? The the TV pizza fucking weather like on the. Don't worry. That's why we. That's why we have DJ ID. Yeah. Oh, what's black, black. It's from the TV party. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's You're awesome. We'll play. No What, what is the EP of that? Is um, breakdown. Yeah. This is the yeah. That's so crazy how this stuff makes it to Europe. That's interesting. I it's love so it. It's so awesome. What 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 is the what what uh, EP is it from? Let me see. I don't know if. So the breakdown was the mental breakdown. To, oh fuck! I forgot all the names. Right all now. the comments say is Henry Rollins was in Black Flag. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't much help. Okay. <laughs> now okay here. Herden Herden on Cinde Shipste Persis Kemad. I'll repeat it. Hard Hardun Hardun on Cinde. Ships, ships the purses, Kemad. Har non sin. Have you ever eaten Persian food? Oh, yes, I have. I Are, have. I had. Uh, I had it actually pretty recent in um, in London. It was amazing. Was, it was amazing. Was, are there a lot of Persians in uh, in uh, Denmark or no? I know mm, in Sweden we there's like a sort of like. A ton yeah, of them. I think there that there yeah there is actually where I live uh, in the neighborhood. I think we do have also some Persian food uh, restaurants. I like it. Good going it's great, really good so food. Good. I really love that cuisine. I yeah. like that. Yeah. Okay, my last question is uh Will do wear me for purses mad I often? Will do wear me Let me repeat that. Aften. Will, will do wear me for purses mad I often. Oh my god, I don't get the last thing I get. Would the... you like to join me for Persian food? Oh yes, yes, sure, anytime, of course. I like that. I like that. <laughs> I like that. Got a date with Mu. I'm sorry for your boyfriend, girlfriend, whoever, right? We'll be, we'll be just friends. Don't worry. Yeah, we're just gonna have some Persian food. There it's gonna you, be awesome. There you go. All right. Well, hey, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank yeah, you so much for being a good me. sport. And you know, we wish <laughs> you nothing too. but the best. And you know, it's awesome to see you uh, take off as your own artist. And oh, what I like you. to call, you know, you're crossing over from EDM to just M. You're making an M. So you're living that M life That's now. That's awesome, yeah. All right, Thanks. Mu lives the M life. All right, thank you so much, Mu. Take care. Thank you. Give it up for Mu. <laughs> thank you.